it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today I want to show you how to integrate the Intel RealSense T265 tracking camera with the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. RealSense comes in this attractive little box. Well, let's open it up. We have a getting started guide. Here's the camera itself. Mounting points on the back. and a USB cable. It's a USB 3 cable. And here's where it plugs into the camera. There's a nice little protective film. Let's take that off. Simultaneous localization and mapping is known as SLAM. SLAM is a computational problem. How does a device construct or update a map of an unknown environment while simultaneously keeping track of its own location within that environment? Let's say this up front, it's a difficult problem. The Intel RealSense T265 is a standalone simultaneous localization and mapping device. The camera is typically for use in robotics, drones, and augmented and virtual reality applications. The RealSense T265 contains two fisheye cameras. One here and one there. A Movidius ASIC. And an inertial measurement unit, which is known as an IMU. Combining the output of these sensors allows for navigation using visual features in the environment to track its way around even in unknown spaces with good accuracy. If you've ever tried to implement SLAM on your own, you know it can be quite challenging. With the T265, we can have precise and robust tracking that has been extensively tested in a variety of conditions and environments. So here's the amazing part. The power requirement is only 300 milliamps at five volts. The camera is 108 millimeters wide by 24 by 50 high, and then it's 12.5 millimeters deep and it weighs about 60 grams. The camera provides pose data at a sample rate of 200 hertz. If you are only using pose data, you can run it over USB 2. If you use the visual streams from the cameras, USB 3 is required. It's simple to integrate. Just plug in the USB cable, load the software, and start streaming pose data. Looks like the cable plugs in here. And then this goes into our developer kit. Let's install Live RealSense. On the Jetson Hacks Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named Install Live RealSense. It even has some handy instructions. Let's scroll down a little bit. During the compilation process, the memory is a little tight here on the Nano. In order to run this script, it's best to enable the swap file. So let's do that first. Here's your little warning. You could also go in and modify the script to only use one job in the make file, but we are going to install the swap file. We are still in the Jetson Hacks Nano account. Install swap file repository. Let's clone that repository. We'll switch over to that repository's directory. And we will install the swap file. And you can see our swap file showed up here in the system monitor. Let's hop back up a directory. Clear this off. Now we are ready to install Live RealSense. Okay, let's grab the repository's address and clone it. Switch over to that repository's directory. And let's install Live RealSense. Installation complete. And here's where it installed everything, the libraries, the header files, and the demo. So let's close up the web browser. For the T265, that's all the installation that we have to do. We do not need to recompile the kernel or modules. Let's test it out. Clear this off. Switch over to our bin directory.
Let's plug our camera in and run RealSense Viewer. We turn on the tracking module and we get a five pane window. We get the fisheye camera views. Let's take a look at one of those. This gives you a sense of lag from the image. This is a good result considering we're going through the USB port. The camera has a little 3D bracket that I printed, has a GoPro mount. The cameras are 30 frames per second. Let's reduce this. Then we have the gyro stream and the accelerometer stream and the stream that we pay the money for, which is the pose stream. So it's almost like magic. It tracks the X, Y, and Z coordinate from the origin that we started the camera at, as well as the pitch, the roll, and the yaw. Yaw! The RealSense viewer has a 3D feature. Let's look at that. It starts here at an origin. Let's pick it up. Forwards, backwards, up and down. And we can look at this in 3D now. And now you know why it's so clever. You can tell where you are X, Y, and Z in space, as well as the orientation of the camera. Thanks for watching.